Hey, what's going on guys? This is Bryce Lewis again. Back with a little bit more Excel stuff, this time a little bit more advanced. Um, we're starting off exactly where we left off with this uh, example uh, template that we made. And this time, we're going to talk about the VLOOKUP formula. Uh, we're going to talk about estimated one rep maxes and how to get those in your programming. So, uh, I've added a few tabs here and you will need the RPE chart at least. Um, and then we'll talk about the other one. So, this is a uh, this is a chart that compares the number of repetitions across the top, 1 through 12, and the RPE across the side from 10 all the way down to 6.5. This is a chart uh, created with data from Mike Tushir and Reactive Training Systems. Um, and it's very useful, especially if you're using RPE and auto-regulated systems. Um, so what are we after? Well, uh, we want an estimated one or max to be calculated based off of someone's effort. And there's a few ways of doing this. Remember we had some collapsed stuff up here. Well, one way is we could program it based off of whatever the load and someone's reps are. So uh, maybe you don't have the load determined for them in advance. Maybe they choose the load based off of uh, just uh, sets and reps and trying to progress week to week. Well, in that case, we could use this existing formula based off of the same data from uh, exrx.net. Uh, simply, you know, put this in to choose whatever load they have in load cell and the number of reps they did, and it will give us an estimated one hundred max. That's a, a great way of doing it. Um, this, of course, is assuming they go to an RPE ten uh, or uh, all out max effort. That's often not the case, and that's where estimated one hundred max based off of RPE um, tends to enter the picture. But before we do that, uh, let's take a look at what the final product is, and let's talk about the VLOOKUP formula. Final product might be something like this cell here, estimated one rep max, which uh, bases itself off of the number of reps an athlete did, the RPE, and uh, their top set load, what load they actually did. So if it was a three at an eight, we can see the estimated one rep max adjusts accordingly. So uh, in this case, this is not specific of this being a squat, a bench, or a deadlift. Uh, if you're so inclined, you can create three separate charts, uh, custom charts for RPE for the individual lifts, uh, although we'll leave that off the table for now. So it's time to talk about VLOOKUP. And I've got this sheet here that we can use to talk about that. I've entered in some random data here um, that could correspond to uh, some tables. We have uh, the name up at the top here, which in our case, exercise, upper, lower, and day of the week. Uh, squat, bench, deadlift, snacks, and bagel, and upper, lower, and day of the week. So this is a, a table of some data here. And uh, as you'll see, the RPE chart there is also a table. Uh, so what does the VLOOKUP formula do? V stands for vertical lookup, so it's going to grab a value for us, and this is what we enter. So uh, it accepts four values, item in the first column that we want to search for, then it wants the whole table, then it wants which column to look in to find your result. And lastly, it wants to know if you need an exact or the closest match. And this last one is optional. You don't have to enter it. Um, anyway, let's, uh, let's enter an example here. And let's say that I want, to, I want to find out what day of the week corresponds to deadlift in this case. So let's say equals the lookup. There's our formula. And let's look up the value open quote deadlift and let's select the table array in this case we want the whole table here uh, and it's important by the way to make sure that the first column is the column that it's going to search for the deadlift value here if it's not if it's this one over or if it's this one uh, it's not going to be able to find deadlift because it's not in the first column second or third, actually, uh, what column is it going to look in to find our value? Well, uh, we've got days of the week in the third column over. One, two, three columns over, so we're going to enter three here. And then for range lookup, this is either true or false. Uh, true means that it will find an approximate value. False means it will only return exact values. So. Let's see what we got. All right. Well, it tells me that uh, the day of week corresponding to 
deadlift is on a Wednesday. Now remember, since we're in Excel, we can use references to cells. We don't have to use absolute references. So we don't have to use the word deadlift, the number three. Here's another way we can go about the same thing. The lookup, lookup value. Well, let's just take whatever's in this cell. In this case, it's squat. And let's give it the same table array. So I'm selecting the whole table. And in this case, for a column index number, let's have it reference this cell here. Okay, um, and I'll show you why in just a second. And let's uh, also leave off the last label to show you that we can. Okay, so it's referencing the cell. Let me put in a two here. So now it will pull the second column because I have a two here. If I change this to a three, it will give me the day of the week. So uh, we could easily make something that uh, references a cell and allows us to kind of sort through data here by entering a specific number and grabbing some specific information as we go along. So that's great. Well, let's start to build our estimated one rep max formula here um, by taking a look at what we need. What's the final product that we're going for? And oftentimes when you guys are using Excel, um, starting with an idea of what you want, uh, what you want to have happen and uh, doing Google searches or looking around at uh, other examples of that is oftentimes one of the best ways to go. Um, that's one of the ways that I really ended up learning a lot of stuff was by starting off on that idea of what I wanted uh, to have happen or, uh, or for the athlete to be able to use or for the coach to be able to use and then uh, trying to make the cell do exactly that and you end up learning quite a lot. So, all right, in our case, uh, we need an estimated one or max to be built based off of, and let's take a look at our data here. We need an estimated one or max to be built based off of the RPE the number of reps, and the load. So if we go to our RPE chart here, what we're going to want is to know how many reps were in the set. We're going to want to know what RPE they used, and then we're going to use the percentage and divide by the load that they used to get the actual. So let's take a look at what we're actually after here. Let me make this a little bit bigger. And I'm going to enter in a cell here what we want. So we want Let's say estimated one rep max equals load divided by uh, percentage of one rep max. And this must be in decimal form, i.e. 0.75 to give us the right answer. There we go. So this is our goal. This is what we want for estimated one or max. The load is the easy part. Uh, we can just pull that from the number, but the percentage one or max, we're gonna have to use VLOOKUP to be able to find the specific percentage associated with the athlete's reps and RPE. Uh, and that we're gonna need uh, VLOOKUP. Okay, so let's build it. Let's build it here first and talk about VLOOKUP. Uh, and let me give an example here. So. Let's put a reps number here so that we have an example to refer to. And let's put an RPE number here so we have a number to refer to. So here's our reps and our RPE, and let's left align these. Now what do we want? So I'm gonna call this percentage of one rep max so that we know what we're trying to get. Remember, that's our goal. That's why we need V look up here. The load is the easy part. So let's say equals V look up and actually let me bring back our reference so that you guys can see our reference here there we go so this is our reference equals V lookup open so what do we need item in the first column that means that we're looking for the RPE so we need to give it the RPE to look for that's this case now we need the whole table. That's all of this. What do we need now? We need which column number to look in. So we, want, we don't want it to pull a specific column. We want it to pull a column based off of the reps. So we want the reps here, six. And since I've done this, I can kind of give you guys a little bit of a hint. Um, six 
is not necessarily going to work because the first row counts as one. So it's uh, column A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So that's seven. So what we actually need is C17 plus one. That's going to give us the column corresponding to this number of reps. And finally, we want an exact match. We want it to pull up exactly 8.5, not 8 or 9. Okay, now, if you guys remember from the previous video, uh, do we want the table reference to be absolute or relative? Well, if I'm going to copy this uh, down a certain number of rows, I want the reps and the RPE to change, but I don't want it to change the references that it's grabbing for the RPE chart here. So I want these to be absolute, which means I'm going to put in dollar signs. Okay, looks like we did a darn good job here. Uh, we've got a percentage here corresponding to an RPE 8.5, and I track over to 6, and I've got my 79.9%. Let's test it. Let's put in a 9, and let's put in a 3. Now already this would be pretty cool, um, maybe for some other purpose of you just wanting to know what percentage of the one rep max the athlete was using. But again, we're going to use this uh, to build our estimated one rep max. So let's add one more uh, column here. And, and by the way, let me show you guys that you can actually insert cells uh, in specific places. So I'm going to select these, I'm going to right click, I'm going to say insert, and I'm going to shift these cells right, and now I have space for my load column. So let's give it a load of 455, and now we can finally build that estimated one rep max. So here's our labels across the top, we have our percentage of one rep max, our load, our reps, our RPE. Now what do we need for estimated one rep max equals, well this is an easy one, all we need is the load divided by percentage of one rep max. And we can do this two ways. We can say equals load divided by percentage of one rep max. Great, that's our estimated one rep max. But I don't want to have to have a percentage of one rep max cell. So I'm going to copy this formula and I'm going to stick it directly in this cell. That way, we don't even need this. And this will calculate all by itself because we've put in uh, what the estimated one, sorry, what the percentage of one rep max equals. All right, so maybe the athlete works up to a top set load of 495 and the estimated one rep max populates. Remember, by the way, that estimated one rep maxes are exactly that, they're estimated. This isn't saying that if you do three reps at a nine, it's going to be exactly equal to this if you did a single that specific day. Um, Estimated one or maxes are useful if we uh, track them over time, uh, useful to see uh, progress and trends in training. Um, and in some cases, uh, in lower repetitions, they can be very useful for actually estimating uh, an athlete's one rep max. That's at least uh, the goal. Okay, so we've built this. We've understood uh, VLOOK, VLOOKUP, and uh, I think you have a pretty good grasp on it. Remember, it can be useful for many things, uh, like we explained on sheet two here, with uh, maybe looking up a specific exercise and finding a number of reps or the days per week that you want to do it. Uh, the possibilities are endless with this. And remember also that there is an H lookup. Uh, this will simply take the first row and grab something in a specific column. Uh, in exactly the opposite case. So we could have used an H lookup if we wanted to know, based off of the number of reps an athlete was doing, a specific percentage based off of their RPE. So in H lookup, we would have looked up the item in the first row, take the whole table, and find the row number to look in. Sorry, uh, yes, that's correct. Okay, uh, so, Last is a bit of formatting here. So let's take our formula and I'm going to copy it. And go back to our sheet here. And I'm gonna to totally mess up some stuff, but uh, that's okay. Remember I can select these, I can copy. I'm gonna right click here and I'm going to insert the copied cells. Now I have a group of last set RPEs and I'm gonna change this to 
estimated one rep max. Okay, I'll change it there. I'll change it here, here, and here. Okay, so let's build this now. Um, let's build it from scratch just so we get a little bit of extra uh, practice. Equals, I want the load first. I want that to be divided by, we need the VLOOKUP formula for the percentage. VLOOKUP, open. Lookup value, what did we need first? We needed the item in the first column is the RPE. So let's go back. Um, by the way, since I clicked over there and clicked back, it added a sheet reference. That's not necessary for us. So we need the RPE, which means we need to reference a cell that allowed me to go over there. equals load divided by the lookup. We need to look up the RPE. We need the table. So now I can directly click over to my RPE chart table and select this. Look what happened up here. Now since I've clicked over, it's given me a reference to the specific sheet that I'm in. In this case, it's called the RPE chart. And this is how uh, we reference sheets in Excel with a, a single apostrophe uh, in, inside uh, the name with an exclamation point afterwards. So I'm going to select this whole thing. Uh, and now it's given me relative cell references, so I need to correct that. Okay. And finally, I need a column index number to look in. So let's go back to the sheet. And let's pull the right one. So we need the number of reps, and we need it plus one. Uh, the sheet one reference won't hurt you, by the way. Um, and if you change the name of the sheet, it will change the name of the reference as well. Um, I just like only keeping references to other sheets where they're needed and uh, not otherwise. So I get rid of those to keep things a little bit cleaner. And finally, we wanted to look up only the percentage, or sorry, only the RPE and not something else. Let's close it and let's see what happened. What did we do wrong? Well, the formula looks great. The problem is there's no RPE listed here. So how can it pull a value? Let's give it an RPE to look for. There we go. So we have an estimated one or max based off of, in this case, the last set RPE. Um, that will obviously give you a skewed estimated one or max because they've already accumulated fatigue from two sets prior in this case. Um, and by the way, this athlete is beasting it on some Bulgarian split squats doing 455 pounds for three sets of six. Um, <laughs> that's beside the point. Uh, the formula works, and that's the most important thing. Um, and that is it for today. So I hope you guys have learned. Uh, we have two ways of estimating one or maxes, uh, or at least these are two ways of estimating one or maxes. We can either do uh, a specific load and rep combination, assuming the RPE is 10, uh, or we could do something like this. And by the way, let's check how accurate this is. Let's say it's six reps at an RPE 10. And let's put in for this 455 by six reps. What it looks like as far as these two formulas are concerned, uh, the estimated one or max based off of uh, this formula gives us a lower estimate than the estimated one or max based off of Mike's chart. That's just kind of a observational data after the fact, and you can play around with some of these numbers and see how things go. Maybe at lower repetitions it would change. Well, it does look like there's more parity at lower repetitions, but you can see that uh, estimated one or max is certainly not uh, absolute. So we have different ways of calculating it. All right. Hope you guys learned something. Uh, in review, we talked about the VLOOKUP formula in the context of a chart. We talked about what it asks for, uh, different ways of using it, uh, briefly touched on absolute and relative cell references. We talked about the RPE chart and estimated one rep max formula, uh, and finally built it. All right. Hope you guys are doing well. Take care.